Today, let's automate blogging to our company website. It's something that we all know that we should be doing so that we can improve our SEO so people actually arrive at our website based on keywords that we associate with our business, but it's a massive time drag so we don't actually do it. Let's dive over into NAN and see how we can automate this process and pump out blog posts within a minute or two with only just a few words. Okay, so here we are over in NA10 and first thing, a little disclaimer, we host our website on Wix, but this same idea and more or less the same workflow perhaps with a couple of tweaks is gonna apply to all of the major providers like Squarespace or WordPress or Webflow or whatever it might be. So let's dive in and actually create a blog post. So testing our workflow here and let's chuck in a blog topic. So let's say I want to target this towards accounting business owners and I'm wondering how AI is going to affect the world of accounting and I want to target this towards New Zealand accounting business owners. So let's chuck that in and that's about 15 seconds of effort so far and I'll just submit that and from an effort profile that's about it except for maybe a little review on the other end. So you can see that my workflow is already running and of course I've cooked one earlier because I have recorded this take already a couple of times and swore and got something wrong and did another take. But that allows me to jump over to the Wix dashboard and you can see that just in the last few minutes I've already posted out a couple of um, iterations of the same video and I can dive into one of these. And the best thing about this really that I wanted to show you is not necessarily the blog, which I would, before I published, I would probably read and tweak and just make sure I'm happy with the wording, but I've got a pretty nice infographic here. And the most important thing is if, uh, if I dive over into this little SEO wizard that Wix handily provides to help me get things right, is that I've automatically nailed all of these SEO points. So my post is pretty much pending a review to, to um, make sure I'm happy with the the content is ready to post and nail my SEO and help improve my score on my website. So let's dive back over to NA10 and see how to wire this all up. So I've gotten a little bit more organized having made a few of these videos now and I've written the actual setup notes for me handily over here on the NA10 canvas. So the first thing that we need to do is actually download and import the workflow. So the way to do that to save you having to recreate all these nodes and the prompts and uh, formatting the JSON and all that individual. Uh, yourself, what you can do is just jump over to my AI community over here, Timecraft AI, and I'll put the link in the show notes so that you can easily just go download this thing um, and find the SEO Wix blog posting agent under the classroom and agent templates and just hit download on this, this handy link here and it will download it for you and then you'll have the file and then jump back over into uh, NA10 and what you can do is when you click create a new workflow obviously you'll have a blank canvas and in these three ellipses on the top right hand side you can import it from a file that you've just downloaded and put somewhere handily and import it and you'll see basically exactly this maybe with the exception of some of these notes that I've been tweaking as I've been trying to record this video. Now once you've got this you'll have a bunch of uh, nodes that have exclamation marks on them and you'll have to click into each one and make sure that the uh, authentication is uh, created correctly and that will start with and I hopefully have my notes correct here on the setup and we'll work through them hopefully from left to right. So that'll start with the Tavli API uh, which is essentially a way of connecting your large language model to search. You will double click into this there'll be no credential so under the authentication type you want to select generic credential header authentication uh, and under there you'll hit create new. So if you hit create new then you'll be able to give it a name like Tavli authentication now I'll go into my existing one so you can see the way that it is formatted. The name here has to be authorization and the um, value will be bearer space and the API key. So I'll jump over to Tavoli and show you how to do that. I'm not going to teach you how to sign up for Tavoli, just Google Tavoli or go to app.tavoli.com and either create an account with an email address or sign in with your existing Google or GitHub account. Uh, it lands you on this page, which I think already has a default API key, but you can create another API key if you want and give it a key name. So we can call this like blog poster or something like that and hit create. And then you can just uh, click on the copy here and you're away laughing. Take that back to NA10 and if I, if I create a new one, perhaps I'm going to call it Tavoli test. delete and the name here is going to be authorization and then if I put the expression in here so you can see what I'm actually typing it will be bearer and then the API key and you don't need to use that API key because I'm going to delete that API key before this video goes out so if I save that we should be good to go um, now I'm going to 
just put that back so that I don't forget. I don't wonder why this is broken after I've deleted that API key. So I'll put that back to my Tavily blog poster. And then the next thing that we need to do is get an open router key. So this uh, here is connected to our AI tools agent. So if I dive over into uh, open router here, so, oh, that's platformai.com. Bear with me just a second. So go over to uh, openrouter.ai. And for those people that don't know what open router is, it is basically a centralized way that you can hit APIs for lots of different uh, large language model providers. So from there, I can go over to my keys and I can create a new API key and we'll call this um, Wix blog poster. Create that, copy that key. Again, I'm gonna delete that key. So I might even just delete that right now. Um, let's delete that key. Go back to NA10 and you'll double click into this open router node here, which will have uh, no credentials currently in it. So you'll hit create credential and just paste your, your API key in there and save it and you'll be away laughing. Okay, uh, the next thing that you'll need to uh, configure is your, if I come back to my notes here, is your API key for Wix. So if you dive over to Wix or whatever your provider might be, and full disclaimer, if you're using a provider that's not Wix, then you're gonna need to go check out their API documentation because this is not gonna apply exactly, but you'll be able to kind of look at what I've done here and, and hopefully uh, tweak it. If you do want me to make a video desperately about WordPress or Webflow or something else, then just let me know in the comments. And if enough people wanna see that, then maybe I'll do that. But I, full, I don't have access, oh, I don't use those platforms, so I don't have a readily available website to go testing with, but I could create one. So let's dive over onto Wix. And there's a few things that you wanna grab from here. So, I'm already in the particular website that I want to post to and you'll notice that up here just after dashboard there's a string here that string is your site ID so go ahead and save that and then the other thing that you're going to need is go to account settings go to API keys create an API key and when you generate your API key give it the appropriate permissions don't give it all permissions so if I just step back to my API keys I'll show you the permissions that I've given my one. So I've given it get sites list and that was because I was trying to figure out how to find out my site ID. Uh, and the other thing you're gonna to wanna to give it is ability to post a Wix blog and also access to the uh, site media so that you can actually upload the image that you create. So once you've given it the right permissions and generated the key, copy the, copy the API key and jump back over to NA10 and that's, you're going to need to update a few things in these nodes. So once you go into um, this node, put your site ID in there that you've got out of the URL. And the other thing that you will need to do is set up some header authentication. So that's very similar to the Tavily authentication. You will need to, if I just edit this one, you'll see. Again, you've got authorization in here. And in here, you've got bearer, space, and the API key. So just go ahead and save that. You'll see header authentication that basically always follows that. Uh, format authorization is the name and then bearer space and the bearer token which is the which is in a lot of cases the key once you've done that it's basically good to go but I do need to call out that when I make a blog post in Wix that it has an author so you need to uh, if I jump into this create a draft blog post node you'll see here that I have actually hard coded in an author ID and that maybe is not the best practice and something that you could edit. But you see here where it's got member ID, that is Chris Turk and Wix. So if I post to that member ID, then I'm gonna be the author. Now I've included in the workflow so that you can find your own member ID. But what to do is just disable this uh, trigger here and enable this trigger and this node here. And you'll have to jump into this node and again, update the the Wix site ID and make sure it's using the right authentication for your Wix. But now that I've got that one enabled, I can just hit test workflow and it will list out all of the members that I've invited into my Wix site to collaborate and it will give me a list of people and their IDs. So if I just grab, this is obviously a person that once had access and has since been deleted or something like that. Um, their status is unknown or, or maybe they never accepted their, their invite. So I could take that ID and 
hard code that in and then they're going to become the author of the web post. So I just wanted to call that out. Hopefully that's all the things I've listed. Yep, get site ID, get member ID. We've got all the API keys. Um, of course, once you've uh, got your member, uh, member ID, you can delete that, I'm oh, sorry, disable that and reactivate the form submission. So with all that, that should be good to go. So let's, now that I've messed about with it, let's save that again. I'm going to quickly test this workflow so you can see it running in semi real time. I think we'll speed up the bit where it generates the image and just maybe put a timer on the site so you can see how long it actually takes. So let's say I'm going to make a topic of how AI speeds up creation of blog posts. And the target audience is going to be content creators, let's say. So I'll submit that and it's like 20 past two now. So we're, we're array, array running, searching Tavly, doing a little bit of language model, and in just a moment we'll have a blog post. And the thing that takes a long time is actually to generate the image, and that's because OpenAI has um, just updated their, uh, their API. And as I've said that, I've called something else out to myself that I'm gonna add in here. And because it's a custom HTTP node to OpenAI, luckily I was explaining each node as I went along. So I'm gonna click in there. You need the open, don't know why it's typing at the bottom. You need the open AI. Well, it's not typing in the right place. So that's, <laughs> that's fucked. Um, so I've just realized as that's been running, that this generate image is actually a custom HTTP node to OpenAI. So there's one more thing that you're gonna need that I didn't include in my notes, so I'll update that in the template and make sure that's updated in the uh, community. So in this generate image, you are making a custom HTTP call to OpenAI. So if I edit that, you'll see the exact same format as we've been seeing all the way along, where the name is authorization, and here, and here there is bearer space and then the API key. And what you'll need to do for that one is jump over to uh, the OpenAI platform. So here we are, platform.openai.com, go to API keys and generate a new API key and give it a name that's meaningful and copy and paste that API key back over here in NA10 and put it in here for that particular HTTP call. Okay, so I'm glad I caught that out in the demo. So that's actually run, let's jump over to Wix and have a look at my site. And we'll go to my blog posts. And we can see that blog post about AI content creation targeted at content creators with a nice infographic. And that's pretty much ready to just give it a little once over and post. And the, the really nice thing is that the graphics nowadays include text and they're correctly spelled and it's really quite nice quality. So that's really all I wanted to cover today. Hopefully that helps you guys get some content creative for your website without too much effort. I know we have this massive blank canvas issue where you're, you just don't know where to start. Uh, I'm not saying that AI should be the be all and end all of your writing because um, it, I still really think that I'm posting these things into draft for a reason so that I can give them once over before they're posted. But this should be a massive time saver in getting some SEO on your website for your business. Hope that helps. Until next time. Have a good one. Cheers.